Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. All good things come to an end, right? It appears that time's come for one iconic baseball stadium out in Maumee. Tyler Segerman captured what perhaps will be the final game played at the Ned. Hope this is the way we have to end it. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day, that's for sure. For nearly 60 years, baseball has had a home in Maumee. Take it around, this is probably going to be here. Yet this past weekend may have been the last game ever played at Ned Skeldon Stadium. Unclear what's going to happen. We know all the structures are coming down. You know, there's still hope that we can save the field and be able to play on the field in some capacity. I know the county commissioners and everybody are looking at a, a grand plan. We're not involved in the politics. We're here to play. Um, but yeah, it is bittersweet. We enjoy the field. We enjoy the facility. And hopefully uh, things will work out that we can play here in the future. Since the Mud Hens departed in 2002, the Roy Hobbs Adult Baseball League has kept this field busy. No, these 45 and over ball players aren't swinging for the majors. But competing in the ambiance, that is the net, still provides quite the catch. And the whole aura of playing here, it just draws guys here and they want to play here. So it's, it's been a blessing for 20, almost 20 years. Sunday's championship game between Beham's Toledo orthopedic team and the Harry Young Builders didn't come close to filling all 10,000 seats. But those in attendance took time to reflect. My sons in particular, uh, five of them have played ball here since Pee Wee's over here in Colt. And then in high school, they played regional and uh, district games for Whitmer High School here. Besides watching the Mud Hens play, and you know, now I'm out here sitting in the warning track watching them play. Ken Whittle also had a great seat to the action. I played in this Roy Hobbs League for 26 years. In the last four years, I've been umpiring in this league. So to me, it's kind of a pleasure to be involved in the last game of the season, uh, possibly the net, last game at the net. I, I've played with most of these guys, and so there's a lot of joking that goes on outside the lines, but once you get inside the lines, these guys are as serious as anybody else. The final score to likely the final game ran 18-4 to in favor of Harry Young. While uncertainty surrounds the diamond, on it possesses everlasting memories. In Mommy, Tyler Segerman, WTOL 11. Well done, Tyler. As for what's next for the field, demolition of the grandstand, press box, and clubhouse begins soon, yet the diamond dugouts will stay for now. Lucas County commissioners have told Maumee residents that they will have a say in what that space will become. But for now, that is it for sports.